Well, let me ask you more on the same topic, because over the past few months, there's been renewed excitement over a very large fusion program, the International Thermonuclear Experimental Reactor, the ITER, being built currently in France. It's a the world's largest superconducting tokamak fusion project. The governments involved in it cover over half of the world's population, including U.S., Russia, India, China, Japan, South Korea, the EU. Despite funding problems over the years, certain basic aspects of the design have been finalized, the project is moving forward, and the man in charge of constructing the eater, Ken Blackler, recently said that we've now started for real. Industrial manufacturing is now underway, so the time scale is more certain, and many technical challenges have been solved. They hope to have their first plasma produced in 2021. It's a big project. Despite the excitement around the motion on the eater, however, much of the coverage concludes by saying that even with these developments, the development of fusion power is still at least five to six decades away which is a longer span of time than predictions of fusion several decades ago were. So the problem with these assessments is that they're looking, at the, uh, they're looking at the issue from the standpoint of the general economic and strategic framework that we've had for the past 50 years since the assassination of Kennedy, and which has gotten worse since young Bush and Obama. But the real factor that's been preventing it, the Anglo-Dutch imperial system, is now potentially disintegrating before our eyes. With that elimination, with the reinstatement of Glass-Steagall and a Hamiltonian credit system, what would you say are the assessment for the prospects of developing a fusion economy? What role can this play in an economic recovery for the U.S. and other nations? I think the problem is that the politicians have gotten in on this thing. Uh, serious scientists have not been really consulted on this in, from that standpoint. What you do, what we've done in science, we've always su succeeded in science driver programs by leaps. What you do instead of trying to build, build a base up slowly, 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 inch by inch and inch, which is what they talk about. They talk about practical, they're talking about the financial system. They're talking about the monetarist system. Now, the monetarist system doesn't work. It's not, it's not intended to work. It, against it, the British system, look, the British represent what? 60% potentially of the world's wealth and control. And the, these and other related people, related groups of people, simply do not want to take those measures. We, can, we could start, you know, within this year. We could start within this year the launching of a program, which would be a fusion program, a fusion energy program. Huh? I've, I've been dealing with fusion energy, you know, in peripheral and various other ways over decades now. So it, it, we're not that far behind. Some people have their heads that far behind or up someplace in the wrong place. But the point is we have the ability to rapidly go by known methods of the past and make, make breakthroughs in terms of designs. And don't go by the political decision makers. The political decision makers in Europe are failures. Every nation in Europe has proven itself to have been a catastrophic failure in the recent periods. And you want to take their advice? An habitual failure, you've got a few people who are, want to push this program, which makes a great deal of sense. But we can get to work on this without having to go through this kind of political mishmash. And that's what we have to, we have to do. And we just, what we have to do, essentially, we've got people out there. And once we get Glass-Steagall in and people be get, get their confidence back because Glass-Steagall is in and they know that the end, this terrible thing is ending, we're going back into business. At that point, then, then ask the same questions all over again and look at what the designs we're working on. And our, our resources are modest, but what we know can be done. How fast is this going to work, we don't know, but these kinds of suggested <laughs> programs are just nonsense. We just have to say, we, first of all, do simple things that you can do. Get government organized to support 
those simple things that we can do. Like starting to rebuild our water system, which nothing is being done on it. To build, build our crop production by aid of that. Rebuild California so it's a respectable place again. That sort of thing. We destroyed it with a crazy man from Austria who destroyed California with himself and his doings. We can rebuild these things. We know how to do it. Just turn our people loose. Give them a mission. Give them some funding. Let them live. Let them get the place to work. Let them go to work. Get the farmers back in business. Get the industries back in business. Reverse what has been done in the recent decades. That's all we have to do. It's going to be a hard struggle, but let's keep it simple. Let's start from a very simple decision called Glass-Steagall. Let people understand what Glass-Steagall means for them, what it makes it possible for us to do, and start to do it.